business opportunity. Business that is for lease or sale. A business opportunity is any kind of business that is for sale or lease. Businesses for sale fall under the Bulk Transfer Act and are regulated by Division 6 of the Uniform Commercial Code, UCC. Businesses being sold must give public notice of at least 12 business days prior to the sale, must record the sale with the county clerk, and publish the sale in a local newspaper with a copy of the notice included in the recording with the county clerk. Related words, bulk sales. Demography. Study of demographics. Demography is the study of demographics. Demographics are the statistical information of the makeup of a people of a specific area, region, or location. As might be imagined, the makeup of a people might include any number of metrics including, but not limited to, their income, social economic status, education levels, disposable income, buying habits, or any number of other aspects which might be appropriately appropriately used to describe people. Demography is the study of demographics. Related words, demographics. Fraud. Deception with intent to steal. When a person lies through deeds or words to deceive another so as to gain something of value, it is fraud. Identity theft is fraud because a person represents himself as another. Passing a bad check is fraud because a person is representing that the money is available when it is not. Fraud is deception with intent to steal. To farm or farming. Agent marketing method of targeting a neighborhood. Farming is a marketing method in real estate. Real estate agents will farm a specific area by advertising repeatedly in that area or neighborhood. It is very typical for agents to pick up listings on the same street or block. This is because holding an open house brings as many or more neighbors than potential buyers. The neighbors want to see what a home on their street is selling for, want to see the inside of their neighbor's home, and ultimately want to see if they like the agent on the chance they want to sell their home at some point in the future. So, real estate agents are wise to target a specific area or neighborhood and, quote, farm, end quote, it by advertising regularly with door-to-door -door flyers or mailings, especially in conjunction with listings in the area, and to be very friendly to visiting neighbors at open houses. Together, this marketing process is called farming. Buyer's market. Market with more property sellers than property buyers. A buyer's market is a real estate market where there are more properties for sale than there are real estate buyers. More properties means that the buyer has greater choice and greater negotiating power and therefore is called a, quote, buyer's market, end quote. The opposite, a seller's market, is when there are more buyers than sellers, 
and therefore the sellers get to pick and choose from the buyers. The concept is based on supply and demand from the field of economics, and there is a supply and demand curve. According to that theory, the greater the supply, the lower the demand, and the lower the supply, the greater the demand. California Oak Woodlands Conservation Program of 2001 State Program to Conserve and Restore California Oaks From the state website wcb.ca.gov slash oaks quote the Oak Woodlands Cons Conservation Program offers landowners conservation organizations cities and counties an opportunity to obtain funding for projects designed to conserve and restore California's oak woodlands." End quote. Customer. Receiver of goods or services from another. A customer is a person or entity which receives goods or services from another. A customer is a person or company which buys goods or services from another. The opposite of a customer is a supplier. A customer has the ability to choose between suppliers for the goods and services they eventually buy. A customer is a receiver of goods and services from another. Synonyms, client, purchaser, buyer, vendee, Patron, shopper, antonyms, supplier, related words, goods and services. Cone, circle to a point, roof found on Victorian homes. Real estate professionals need to be familiar with different types of roof styles. Some of the many include gable, gable with dormers, hip, mansard, flat, shed, butterfly shed, monitor shed, gambrel, parentheses, barn, and parentheses, pagoda, parentheses, temple, and parentheses, cone, Mediterranean, thatched, A-frame, pyramid, etc. A cone is a three-dimensional geometric shape which has a point at one end and a circle at the other. Think of the phrase, quote, the nose cone of a rocket, end quote, and imagine the pointed shape at the top of a rocket ship, and that shape is pretty much a cone. cone shape roofs Roofs are typical on Victorian style homes. Related words, roof styles. Business climate. One aspect of a business valuation. The appraisal of real property is for the purpose of obtaining an opinion of market value by an appraiser according to accepted appraisal methods. When businesses are sold, an appraisal of the value of the business is also necessary, and the appraisal of a business is called a business valuation. An essential aspect of a business valuation is called the business climate. Business climate includes other businesses in the area, the mix of other businesses in the area, and the number of consumers coming through the area. In general, the more consumers frequenting a well-rounded mix of businesses is a good thing for a business valuation in the area. Credit scoring. Objective measure of a borrower's credit risk. 
credit scoring has been developed to help lenders decide whether or not to lend to a person, and if so, under what conditions, at what interest rates, for example. The idea is that the system and process of credit approval slash denial be objective and consistent. Credit scoring works to summarize a person's income, expenses, and debts into a single number representing the credit risk of a borrower. Willing Seller A seller who wants to sell and is not being forced by law. A willing seller is a seller who is not being forced to sell. What seller would be forced? One who is being made to sell a property to pay a lien, or one who is being forced to sell because of a foreclosure. So a willing seller is what it says, one who is selling by choice as opposed to being forced to sell.